Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass this Windows 11 requirement and install Windows 11. I will show you three simple ways to bypass Windows 11 system requirement. You can use this to perform a new place upgrade from Windows 10 or an older version of Windows 11 to the newer version of Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. So without wasting my time, let's get started. So you have to go and download the Windows 11 ISO. Head over to your browser and search for Windows 11 download. Click on the official Microsoft link. Please make sure you are downloading the latest version of Windows 11. If you check here, you can see it is 24H2. So scroll down till you find Download Windows 11 Dex Image ISO for 64 bit devices. Select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO for 64 bit devices. Then click on Download Now. You have the option to select your product language. This is very important. So if you don't know your product language, just open your settings, then click on the Time and Language section. Click on language at the left side of the page. So from here, you will see your default system language. You can see mine is English, United States. So go back to the download page and select your language. Click on 64 bit download and the ISO will begin downloading. I have already downloaded it, so no need to download it again. Once your download is finished, just for a click on the ISO file, then click on mount or click on extract. You are going to see this Windows 11 installation files. So I click on the setup and run it as administrator. The installation process is going to start. Click on change how the setup download the update. I don't want to download the update right now, so I click on not right now. The setup will start checking your PC if it meets the Windows 11 system requirement. You can see this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirement. Just click on close. Go to your Windows search icon and type in CMD and make sure to run it as administrator. Go to the drive where you extracted the ISO. You can see mine is drive E. Yours might be different. So just take note of that. Go to the command prompt box and type in your drive letter with colon. I'm going to type E with colon, then hit enter. Then type DIR to see all the files and folders of the mounted ISO. Type CD space sources. The CD stands for change directory. So change directory sources. Then type setupprep.exe space forward slash product server and hit enter. So this is going to fire up here with this level installation. So once again, click on change how the setup download the update. I don't want to download the update right now, so I'm just going to click on not right now. Now the setup will start checking your PC if it meets the Windows 11 system requirement. So you can see we have successfully bypassed the Windows 11 requirement with this method. Just click on accept. You can choose what to keep. Keep files, settings and apps, or you can keep personal files only, or you can opt for nothing. This is going to erase everything. So now the Windows 11 installation setup is going to open. It is going to say installing Windows Server. It is actually Windows 11, so ignore it. I'm just going to cancel the installation and show you the second method. The second simple method we are going to use is the Flyby 11 upgrading assistance. You can get Flyby 11 from GitHub. So open up your favorite browser and search for Flyby 11. Click on the GitHub link that you see. So if you read here, it says Flyby 11 is a simple patch that removes the annoying restriction preventing you from installing Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. Just click on latest at the right corner here to download the latest version. Click on the first link, Flyby script to download it. Once your download is finished, just drag it onto your desktop. Then right click on it and extract all the files. So what we are going to do now is to run Flyby 11 as administrator. So right click on Flyby 11, then run it as administrator. 
it might say microsoft defender smart screen prevented that from starting just click on more info then click on one anyway so guys here's the flyby 11 upgrading assistance use flyby script to bypass windows 11 restrictions and install on unsupported devices so if you check down here there are a couple of different options here you can do the native method which is recommended or you can do the script optional method which is an in-place upgrade via registry rufus method you might already know about rufus it is a free utility for burning iso files onto usb drives there is another option force windows update to windows 11 24h2 under the dependencies include fudo ps that enables you to download the windows 11 iso directly from microsoft service you are going to go with the standard native option here which is the first one let me show you how this works the app automatically downloads the windows 11 version 24h2 iso using the fudo dependency script we already have the iso so we are going to skip this option number two the iso image is mounted automatically we are going to mount it manually then number three simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the upgrade so we have technical notes here a pop cnt requirement cannot be bypassed it is essential for running windows 11 24h2 we have already downloaded the iso so we are just going to click on mount and run iso so go over and select the iso we downloaded then click on start the windows 11 installation setup is going to open it's going to say install windows server again it is actually windows 11 so we'll just ignore it you can see here flyby 11 is trying to use the fido dependency script to download the windows 11 iso let me quickly show you how the fido dependency script download the windows 11 iso for you so just click on continue click on continue again then continue again then select your system language then click on continue then click on download it will start downloading the iso for you you already have it so no need to download it again so once again click on change how the setup download the updates i don't want to download the update right now so i'm just going to click on not right now the setup will start checking your piece if it meets the windows 11 system requirements so you can see we have successfully bypassed windows 11 requirement with this method just click on accept you can choose what to keep keep files settings and apps or keep personal files only or you can opt for nothing this is going to erase everything it says ready to install just click on install I'm just going to close it and show you the last method. So guys, the last method for today is the famous Peter Butter 2 Rufus. We all know Rufus is a popular free utility to use to create bootable USB drives from ISO files. So to download Rufus, head over to your browser and search for Rufus download. Then click on the first link. Please make sure to download the latest version of Rufus. Once the download is finished, just drag it onto your desktop. Then right click on it and run it as administrator. Plug in your USB time drive, then select it. Go and select your Windows 11 image ISO. Select your Windows 11 this image ISO. And please, this is very important. Make sure to select the correct partition scheme of your SSD or hard drive. To check your partition scheme, right click on the Windows icon, then select Disk Management. Right click on the drive you want to install the Windows 11, then select Properties. 
navigate to the volume section from here you're going to see your partition scheme you can see mine is gpt close it once you are done then select your partition scheme you can name the volume level to whatever you like i'm just going to name it win 11 bypass once you are done just click on start this is the most important steps remove requirement for 4 gig plus ram secure boot and tpm 2.0 Remove requirement for an online Microsoft account. Create a local account with username. Set regional options to the same values as this user. Disable data collection. He is going to skip privacy questions. Then lastly, disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. I'm going to check all of these, then click on OK. Click on Yes, then click on OK. Then wait for the process to finish. Once the process is done, close all programs, then restart your computer. When you see a PC manufacturer logo, just press F2, F12 for escape, depending on the manufacturer of your PC, to access the boot menu. Mostly, Dell and HP laptops uses the F12, whilst Asus or Azos and the other PC brands uses the escape key to access the boot menu. Once you are in the boot menu, select your USB drive. This is going to open the Windows 11 setup. Select your language and time format, then click on next. Click on next again. And please make sure to check I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps and settings. Enter a genuine Windows product key if you have some. If you don't have some, just click on I don't have a product key. Select the Windows edition you want to install. I'm going to select Windows 11 Pro. In some cases, you might not get the option to select the Windows edition you want. Just know you can change it to your preferred edition when you are done with the installation. Accept the line systems and continue. Select the disks where you want to install your Windows 11. Once you have selected this, just click on Format Partition. Select the drive again, then click on Next. So it says ready to install. Just click on Install. You can see right now it says Installing Windows 11. Wait for it to finish. You can see you have successfully bypassed and installed Windows 11 24H2. So guys, that's how you can bypass the Windows 11 requirement and install it on your machine. Guys, if this video was of any value to you, please give it a like. If you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing and sharing this video. Thank you for watching.